is what's up. Um, s we had some technical difficulties earlier, but I'm going to try to f uh, catch you guys up. Uh, again? They, yeah, again. They are approaching <laughs> the island. Lorcran, while Baldwin was sleeping, stole 11 unmarked gold bars off of him with a nat 20 for a sleight of hand. And then Slim stole the bottle of god juice that Baloney gave um, Baldwin back from him. And uh, Gavelt is working on his fine familiar spell. And Lorcran uh, gave Gavelt one of the bars to, um, that he stole from Baldwin. Gavelt did not ask where it came from. Uh, Strudel Kitty's having a bad day. And everybody else is just kind of like stretching their legs, getting ready to, or waking up from their long rest and getting ready to land on the island here in an hour or so. So I'm off the monkey. <laughs> okay, we are recording now, and we're, y y this has been a bad day for technical issues, and I'm pissed, but we're making it. Um, All right, so we're live now. Yes. Yeah. Well, we we've been right. live. It's been just live. recording has been recording. the issue. But uh, back right, to like right. what let's, you guys were doing. Thing. So uh, with the monkey, so you just see this monkey, this this blue energy monkey come out of his <clears throat> just go backwards out of that pot that he made. And eventually, it gets its actual body form. It forms a. Uh, Brown furred monkey. Yeah, I think about Kitsy. It's been a while. <laughs> yep, you guys see uh, the little monkey now fouling around with uh, Gavelt. Okay. Uh huh. I would like pretend to be the monkey, but uh, I mean, I don't know if you, I don't know if you how you feel about me talking to myself, because that's pretty much what it be. Um, because they talk, they talk telepathically. Yeah, w w like if there's anything you want the monkey to do, just let me know. Um, no, it just don't the show. It just don't the show this for now. You see this, you see this monkey making monkey noises, but you see it kind of with like a what the hell, man? Where what what happened? How are we? How you you finally? Finally called me. Hey, what do you think about? Don't give me that look. You already know the story, I'm sure. Um, as as you're uh, doing that, Baldwin is uh, struggling, trying to like uh, raise up the. I'm trying to think of what it's called now. Uh, the cells. The cell? Yeah, he's trying to raise up the cells, but he's having a little trouble. Cloud Baldwin out. You you want to knock him out? No, no, help him out. Oh, help him out. I thought you said knock him out. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> no. You guys are worse than the Kobo. <laughs> help him out. Yeah, yeah, you can help just, him out. I carry a bag filled with uh, ten little bars. Help. You just swing him at his swing it at his head. I'd knock One him of the go out. bars. <laughs> does he does he need more help? Uh. We'll see what uh, what Lorcan uh, in, ends up rolling, or you can roll too, Mimi, to walk over there and uh, help him if uh, Mimi wants to get up. Think about it. they seem to have that covered. Looking over there, see him look back over where Nugget is. Uh, what, what's Nugget doing? Where Nugget and Mimi are doing? Uh, he he Nugget just uh, started stretching like he went outside. You know, he's just filling the sunlight with his uh, new flowerish. Kind of body. Did he grow man? anymore? Um, if he, he's, if he's Mickey Mickey's did. being bad, you guys could use Tatsumaki or Koya. Probably lagging. There it goes. An eleven. No lagging. Okay, so Lorcan got an eleven. Oh. Uh, Lorcan's uh, uh, not helping too much, and Mimi Dink's struggling. But well, to, let me roll for. Baldwin again. Oh, yep. Yeah, together they uh, end up getting the cell uh, up, and you guys are approaching what seems to be like a system of caves on the side of the island. It looks like caves uh, are. You see entrances covered in vines, and there's one 
uh, that Baldwin's uh, steering toward that's kind of cut open, or like you see, like it just looked like somebody's cut through the vines. And you guys are approaching that. So to the left? Yeah. Like, where on the map are we? On the bottom or the, the top? Oh, let me bring that up real quick for uh, the streamers, or the people, not the streamers, the people uh, watching on the stream. Um, you guys are kind of in the middle of the right side, where it, like, indents a little bit. That's where you guys are going in at. And you see Gabel walking towards Nugget. <clears throat> Nugget, as he's stretching. Let me get a good look at you. Sure, Gabel. Are we coming in from the bottom or the top? Oh, well, you guys came in from the right side. You guys were traveling west. Okay. So you're landing on uh, the east side. The right side, right side, right side, the bottom or the right side the from top. the top? Uh, kind of in the middle where that you see where it like indents a little bit that's where you guys will be landing are we landing or oh. not where the stone is uh no 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 the rest of it's too high off the ground uh baldwin uh explains that this is uh the place where his ship can dock and land gotcha <clears throat> monkey would be on top of uh mimi not mimi but uh nug he'd just be looking at nugget just drop on his shoulder uh, Nugget, you now have a, uh, monkey on your shoulder. Or a belt just looking at him. Single doesn't mind. <laughs> just chilling He's like, already... yeah, that's normal. <laughs> He's already got about a billion different small things on, a, on his belt. Hmm. Like, you see, uh, well, normally people I work, normally people I analyze, which have been very few, have a tendency to be afraid of animals. You see, I see that. Hmm. Could uh someone someone drop the anchor for me while I steer? Uh, sure. We'll be docking here. Oh. Where's the anchor? Oh, here it is. All right, yeah. Um... Strudel Kitty like kind of like lounges over and then slaps it, and you just see it like. Stupid anchor. And uh, yep, the anchor's down. Uh, Baldwin. Uh, looks kind of impressed at how Strudel Kitty did that. <laughs> Don't look at me. I hate you. Cool. Oh. You, you just see a little tear go down Baldwin's uh, right eye. Cry. Just right cheek travel down. Heels. <clears throat> so he, this is the second trial. He, he whispers over to Gavelt. I don't know why he's so upset. Don't mind. Don't mind. I believe he may have he may be he may be shedding you you your people shed right occasionally yes but you usually people. when we uh mature into adults i think he is an adult already well just just like kind of looks at kind of looks at <laughs> strudel over then look back at uh <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Develop this life. How magnificent you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is the strangest noise I've ever come out of a wizard. Uh, no, that, never heard. that's his monkey. That's not me. That's we me. hope so. Yeah, we hope so. <laughs> I couldn't tell. It all sounds the same to me. Okay. Oh, uh, Baldwin also uh, grabs his little rope ladder and uh, kind of like reels it down. We're going to have to get a little wet, if that's okay with you, as he uh, starts climbing down into the water. It's about waist high. Maybe if I could fly, looks at his belly. Oh. Uh, can I swim? Oh, yeah, yeah, it would be deep enough for you to swim. Uh, single. Thank God for that. 
It's about time we get to cool down. And, um, as you hit the water, Single, you taste the water, but all over your body, not, like, your tongue. Just wherever the water is, you taste it. That's cool. Ooh. It's kind of salty, but it is refreshing. And, uh, same thing happens to you, Mimi, as you, uh, get into the water. It's about well, Nick Howe and you. Kavel doesn't know that he has Hideki. You know, he's not looking at him with the monkey. It's Hideki. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty well rested now. Where are we? Are we at the island yet? Yeah. Rubbing his eyes. You guys are getting down if you want to, like off the ship and moving toward the cave system. We just arrived, young tiefling. We just arrived. My monkey comes back with a banana and Kavel just takes it. <laughs> Two gang, can I uh, wrap my leg before we reach land? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll do that right now. Yeah, do you want to do it before you get in the water? Because it, it, it is waist high or after you get out of the water. Did you say oh. grab your leg? No, he's trying oh. to wrap it. Like, I'll oh, do it before him. It's fine. Okay. Water doesn't affect it. Yeah, our little friend's preparing to get off uh, the ship. And as, um, uh, oh, sorry. Hideki goes to Baloney and like tries to wake him up and says, "Let's get on the island." Baloney follows him. All right, Baloney uh, gets up, follows as she. Uh, does anybody like tell Slim to come with you? No. No. Anyway, you think about. You think about. <laughs> just like. Do like a ticking sound. See that monkey just just go running off the stairs. Oh, a little, she, I that think little someone sound. conveniently uh, puts down a banana peel by the ladder. <laughs> can I? Can I? Is are there any rocks on the like where we landed? Rocks? Can I throw a rock to the? Yeah, can I throw a rock to the ship and um, inform Slim? Yeah, you can. Get off. Okay. You Baloney also grabs see... a banana on his way out and starts eating it and pockets the banana peel again. Oh god. You gotta see, uh, Gavelt's monkey, uh, climb up there too. What's your monkey's name? Or your familiar's name? Uh, uh Vega? I just named it, I just named it, I just named it Keith Keith, Keith Keen. So, Keith Keen. So I'll just spell it, I'm just remembering it, man. Keith Keen. <laughs> so, Bless you. It's Keith Keen? <laughs> Yeah, Keith King, so K E <laughs> So we got the Keith King. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> can rename it later, it's really too close to Keith play, but yeah, Keith King. <laughs> Keith King. <laughs> um, so like Slim, you're alerted to come down. Um and as you guys approach the cave system, when you get in Yeah, not up. Not have monkeys on Slim's shoulder. <laughs> this is what you see. Or, well, you just see, like, a pathway leading forward, and then two uh, pathways, one right and one left. You do see light coming from the left way. Uh, you should proceed with caution. Can I approach the left pathway? Yeah, you can. Well, Mimi does that. Alright, uh, Mimi, you're about at the edge where it kind of like goes off there and you see the, the fire going. Uh, it looks like a little yeah. fire is lit over in that direction. Is there anyone there or can I hear anyone? Uh, you do not hear anybody. But you can make a perception check to see if you see anything. Hmm. Oh, I rolled a net one, net twenty. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you do hear stuff. Actually, I said you didn't, but you do. And uh, you also see it looks like it looks like. Uh, 
ogre's feet from uh from here it looks like uh so actually actually like something like bigger uh not giant but pretty big uh kind of like sleeping over there and you see its feet uh popping out i look at i look at the others and uh sign with my hands to be quiet and what I, I... Oh. <laughs> he actually did that he actually did it okay <laughs> the roll uh okay nothing happens they he, oh, he did not quiet. notice Sorry. Strudel kitty <laughs> i i i i appro i approach Strudel kitty and slap him <laughs> okay you just see Mimi Dank, um, vines kind of, like, his dress vines kind of extend down, lift I, him up to like... the same, uh, height as Shrudel Kitty, and he gives him a light slap, and then he, like, lowers himself down. So the vine just, like, actually grew a little bit to slap him? Yep, to lift him up to the same height as Shrudel Kitty. I am not offended. You see the monkey pulling, and... pulling the, uh, you see the monkey pulling the speak no evil pose, just kind of giggling, but you see Gavelle with, like, the eyebrow all kind of what? Like, just, just look at what you mean, Gavelle. Now that, now, now that I'm, clo now that I'm closer to the, all of the others, I, I tell them what I saw. Okay. Also, really quickly, I whisper towards Gavelle and I say, uh, your facial expressions pain me more than the little slap I got from Mimi Dank. Oh. They both just like, like you see Gavel's eyes and the monkey's eyes sing. They both just looked at like, just looked at him from his, just looked at each other through the peripheral at Strudel Kitty. See the monkey just kind of like, see his eyes just glow. I don't think he cares. Can I take talk. one damage from these facial expressions? <laughs> no, you don't. They are physically any, hurting me. Any damage? <laughs> take some psychic damage from Gavelt's mean faces. Okay. No, not even psychic damage. Like this is all self-inflicted. I I can't take these these facial expressions. Anyways, continue. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, so you guys know there's uh, something big over on the left. Uh, area thanks to Mimi's perception uh Baldwin is really alerted right now what 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 would something like that be doing in the cavern of the goddess cavern of the what <laughs> this is uh part of mother's cave I know things have kind of uh Infiltrated in here, but uh, a creature of that size? Where did it come from? Hmm. See you, Gavelle. Hmm. This is getting messy. See him thinking. See him point. Slim. Lokrin. You two take the lead. You take point. Stay in the middle. <laughs> Kiki. <key. clears throat> Go with look go with Lokrin. Maybe that thing just get yeah. Lokrin. <laughs> Alright, so uh, uh, do you guys want to check out the right uh, path, or do you want to keep moving forward? Uh, Alright, I, I would like to check the right path, at least. Okay, so Mimi <laughs> Dank walks toward the uh, right. Anybody going with him? Hideki is going to keep moving forward. Okay. I'm going to go with Mimi. Okay. Oh, so. guys, me, me. Alright, so you guys see. Baloney keeps moving forward, too. <laughs> Hideki, uh. <laughs> move forward. You keep going forward, too, Baloney? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, um, I will. Let them go first. Uh, what are you guys doing in the right pathway? Uh, whoever's going down there. Well, well we don't know what's in there. What are like, are you are you walking down there? Or are you trying to like roll a perception check? Okay. Well, yeah, I would like to first see what's okay, in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was oh, asking. Okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me catch up here because I wasn't understanding. So the pathway split. So the team split. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just see Hideki and oh. um, <laughs> Hideki and Baloney okay. keep moving forward. So uh, I rolled a nine. Okay, Mimi, uh, you really can't tell. You squint your eyes, and you cannot... Uh, I'll roll a perception check. Tell uh, I will as well. Wait, you came with us? Okay. The I vote, thought the it was just goes me, with, uh... Single, and um, Mimi. Ooh, can I decide to come with you guys? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, we, 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 need, we, need, we need to organize and split up. So who's on team one, who's on team two? Okay, Freddy. We went already. Well, I changed my mind. No, okay, we're going. <laughs> no, but no, like you can you can join, but I'm I'm saying to Vega that we went already. I, I know. It's too late to I, 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 I know. I just want to figure out who's with uh, who. The only uh, people moving forward I never that picked. I know of are Hideki and uh, Baloney. Okay. Can they be so I'm, looking, so I'm looking at this map, and they're moving forward towards this green area down here. No, they're area? moving. They're moving uh, forward uh, north. Right, um... Toward a <laughs> bigger room. Oh, towards the bigger room. Uh, okay, so they so the map started um, at the bottom. Okay, yeah. towards the bigger room. And uh, so wait, uh, okay. did Mickey not? Okay, twelve. Uh, where are you going, single? Are you going right with Mimi? I think Ooh. yeah, they all went right. Twenty-one. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, and Slim came too, oh, and okay. Slim went twenty-one. Um, all right, uh, single, let me actually roll for you. Um, you really can't tell what's going on. Um, uh, Slim, on the other hand, you, you just see, uh, her eyes start glowing, and it looks like, uh, whatever is over to the left is kind of using this area, uh, to hold its, you know, stuff. Well, you you slim, don't right? see any, like, enemies or anything this way. What kind of stuff are we talking about? Uh, right now, you just see, like, uh, sacks, it God. looks like, and then some boxes. What do you want, Slim? It's what up, what is Whatever direction that is, can Lork and run as fast as possible oh. to that area. Um, well, you don't know there's loot, though. Slim, can <laughs> like, you, just you can't, you can't just, like, match your game and go, like, fucking... <laughs> No, but he said oh, like you're in the middle of some kind of hide and seek game. Guys, I see stuff. I see stuff. It seems like loot. We should oh, go. God, are you Are you sure? I I don't think any enemies would be here. I'm going to slowly sneak back now that he's That's what his I was planning off. on doing. Yeah. Mimi and Slim, you guys go ahead. Okay, Mimi goes ahead. I go ahead as well. Okay. By the Wait, way, Gavel goes with Hideki and Baloney wherever they went, while the familiar keeps an eye on what's going on here, so he sees everything they're doing, at least up to a point. Didn't Didn't Lorcan say he's going like head first, like sprinting towards whatever? Uh, <laughs> he said he wanted. To... Oh yeah. Uh, Just oh. invisible. Roll a stealth check for me on that run. Oh boy. Uh, uh wait, wait, before I do that, can I turn invisible? <laughs> no, you said what? you were running. <laughs> you can't uh, run and turn invisible at the same time, Borkrin. Can you just stop uh, that? Can I turn monkey make it real quick. Can the monkey make a deception <laughs> check since it's looking around? Since it's, you know, while it's running, it's looking around. While he's running, he's looking around. Can the monkey make a perception check too? Yeah. You yeah. said, you said roll a stealth with so, that. Okay. Wow. Just roll 1d20. Well, he, he, I think he's got some stealth modifiers. Yeah, he, he has, he has. <laughs> no, no, I'm just gonna, the monkey's, the monkey's gonna roll too, just in case. Where, where's the monkey looking at? Um, it's on the shoulder, it's on the shoulder, so just be looking around while he's running. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put monkey in. Bloomy, did you roll yet? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what my booster is in my fucking chrome fucking crowd. Hold on. I don't know what my booster is in my chrome crashed. I have to restart it once again. Okay. That's cool. You can go ahead and make that perception check. Um, give out for keeping. Just a simple, just a simple 1d20.
I think and Mickey you, you have to separate it. Like you just gotta do the roll, one d twenty. What am I yeah. rolling? Uh, you're rolling 19. stealth. All right, nineteen. Uh, yeah, it just looks like loot. Uh, isn't it? Well, not loot, but uh, oh, all right. Oh damn! So uh, Lorcan is the quietest man on earth. You you know uh, the Grinch like walking around. <laughs> on uh, Christmas Eve is <laughs> taking shit. Yeah, that's Lorcan right now. He's just, like, putting shit in his backpack. He's not even, like, worried about what it is. <laughs> he said, let me roll for you. Fourteen. Okay. Let me look real quick in here. Ooh. Sorry. I did not expect you to get a nat 20 stealth. And, um, is anybody going to follow him in there? I will. E yes. All right. Uh, Lorcrin, you find a great sword. Hold on, I'm lagging right now. I didn't hear a word you said. Uh, you I'm find a great sword games and shit. In, the, in the side room on the right. Or am I lagging? No, you're fine. But uh, I need you, Lorcan, to make me a Constitution saving throw. What does that do? So what, what do I do? Can that? I go there or can I not go? Yeah, you can go. You can go. We both we're just waiting for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, like you guys are going, and you see Lorcan pick up a uh, big old sword, but um, he's got to make a Constitution saving throw because, along with that sword, is still the dead body of a man, and it's rotting. And that, and that's all there is: a dead man and a great sword. No, no, there's more in there. That's just the box oh, he okay. like uh, looked in. Uh, oh, he definitely in Bologna or walking. Oh, I definitely blown your walking. Gabo has his eyes closed, but he opens one and appears Lokren has found a rather large weapon. So is that the Hideki and Bologna? And, uh, Bologna uh, ignores him. I need to roll. Uh, constitution save. What is that? Saving throws. Yes, it should be on, like, constitution saving throw. Uh... You're getting the hit 1D with like 20? A, yeah, yeah, one d twenty, and it sh you should have, uh, or if you do have any modifiers in Constitution, they should be in the saving throw too. Uh, you're getting oh oh, all right. I've never hmm. seen such like different rolls. Okay, not too <laughs> bad. All right, as uh. But still, still like bad with the uh oh, God. All right, as yeah, you uh, as you realize the smell, uh, Lorcan, you end up dropping the great sword. Thanks, thanks. Uh, just like the great. Monty and... holds onto his ears. It may have been loud. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. You guys walking forward. Uh, you guys hear a cling 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 echo through the uh little cavern or the cave oh no and okay Lorcan's gonna be right back and as uh as that happens uh you see a shadow Mimi start mm -hmm. moving from the uh, hallway mm -hmm. on the left wait why don't I see the shadow I know you, goat. Your ass is looking at the loot. No, you ain't looking at that shit hallway. <laughs> the monkey just kind of like... No, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah mean... you guys you guys see, like, it, the party in the right side, you guys see a shadow, like, move up, and uh, you, you hear some stuff, like, moving around in the other room. I'm Mimi, Ray, Mimi, Ray. Mimi raises his shield. I'm assuming Hideki and Gavelt looked at each other, but it hurt that clanking. 
we're moving to a different room. Why would it be hearing that? No, you would hear it. It echoes. Yeah, it, it's an echo. It's it's moving through the the cavern. Yeah, the cavern. Yeah. Uh, so pretty much when they heard that, they both just look at each other. Can I can I run towards the loot? I knew it. I fucking knew he was going her. for that loot. Um, the belt stops. Says that. Is there any empty bed. chests I can hide in? <laughs> There is that bag that the dead man was in. You're gonna have to make a constitution saving throw if you wanna. I'll make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Who, who's Lork room with? Uh, you're with H Hideki and Baloney, and yeah, I think he said Lorkrin. Oh, oh, Lor Lor oh, no, Lork. Oh, sorry, Lorkrin is uh in the room with uh single uh Mimi and Slim. To the right. I didn't do very good. Well, uh, no, you hear the clink, 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 and start, hear the shadow uh, start moving. You just see a uh, single nugget kind of like uh, go into the corner and act like he's a plant. And he's hoping not to be noticed. Anyway, now with all this noise, you see Gavel just like lean towards the wall. But, you know, can I get the, he's controlling the monkey. And the monkey's, can I make a perception check on the monkey? Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, you're you're just yeah. gonna see like a, a shadow. Are you are you looking for loot? You're just looking for signs of anything, but he sees the shadow. Uh, yeah, he see he sees the shadow of the creature. I wish wish Bloomy was here, but it was kind of. There, he's there, he's... So like, do... is there Go is ahead. there still time to look around the room, or uh, is yeah, the shadow? Yeah, Goat, Goat said he was gonna oh, use okay. his. Uh... Action to look for loot, so I need an investigation <laughs> right. check. All the right. monkey run. The monkey run towards Mimi, <laughs> just just kind of singing, like pointing the way they came. Like go, <laughs> need to go. I rolled a five. I mean an eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you found or you find some dead horses. It looks like this thing was snacking on horses. And, uh, so wait. They so probably belong to that team. man. You're telling me I didn't see it earlier. Like the, they're in bags. Like the horse was in a bag. <laughs> the, how the, how big them. are these bags? Uh, big. <laughs> they're huge. I'm guessing there's a saving throw now for him. Uh, yeah. So, um, so do I do an investigation check if I want to look around the room? Yeah. Yeah. And Slim make me okay. a con save. If Miki, Miki, please. I roll an eight. You see Slim looking at the bag with the horse, and you're like, hmm, what's in there? <laughs> and get hit with a big old wolf of a dead horse, and... As you do that, the uh, slim tissue kind of throws up. To the monkey, <laughs> just, 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 you know, kind of like nudging on Mimi to like point, pointing the way out, like need to go. And it's as you, uh, as that happens, you just feel the cave rumble as you guys see a huge humanoid creature running down this hallway and uh baloney hideki and Gavel, you guys look back and you just see this thing clear clear that uh middle passageway and move over toward the right side passageway toward its uh food as it's uh moving toward sl uh, slim and party yeah. And as that yeah. happens, I need Baloney, uh, Gavelt, and uh, Hideki to make me a dexterity saving throw. Guys, I'm sorry, I gotta go. No, that that's that's cool. I knew you had to leave at uh, 10:30. I hope you have a nice. Wait, night. so. Uh, and then so where he dies? I die. Sorry. Would anyone like to take my sword? No, oh, no, you don't <laughs> die. Okay. You just see uh, oh. uh, Strudel Kitty like hop back in the water. All right, yeet. Uh, B and Baloney both roll eights. Yeah, that's not good. I'm waiting on Gavel to... 
plus three. So is the creature moving already? Like, or yeah, he's, moving? he's in that hallway. You guys are trapped. Oh, uh, wow. wow. That's gross. Devout yeah. rolls a 12. Eight, eight, 12. Okay, so as you guys are standing there and you feel that rumbling, uh, you feel like Jello is kind of moving around your body, like molding again around your body. What the Holy hell? moly. There went that dice, but those two are not looking good. Oh, K max damage. You guys take 18 points of acid damage each. Uh, I'm dead. That sounds delicious. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dead. Yeah. You're, you're both level three. Yeah, I only have 18 hit points. 24 minus 18. What? Yeah, Baloney's Baloney's dead. Wait, who takes 18 hit points? 18 Gavel, hit points? Gavel, uh, Baloney, and Hideki. What the fuck? I don't die, but I need. Holy shit! Uh, I have 24. What, what do you mean you don't die? You. T I have 24 HP, and plus is how many yeah. hours have passed? 10 hours. Uh, 10 hours have passed. Yeah. Damn it. But yeah, I still have I have, I have 24 HP. <laughs> so it's max. Yeah, Gavelt's, oh, no. Gavelt's not looking good oh, no, you're down right to six. now. And so you guys had less than 18 health in total? Because you, you guys don't have any damage on you right now. Yeah, I, I have exactly 18 hit points. Holy crap. I have 14. Wait, no, you should have more than that. No, no, what I, the I hell? No. Yeah, you guys have to have more no, than that. Hold on. Yeah, then you did not roll for your, yeah, like, two level. Yeah. yeah. What's your, you, what's you your hit die? Amount of I, I did roll for that, though. We, Same. We what's, that no, 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 no. What's your hit die? What's your hit die? Patat, what's your hit die? Like, like, for a level. Like, D, D6? A bard? I do not know. I think it's D8 for bard. Well, yeah, you, you would have like 16 health just from like two levels alone. No, no, that's if yeah, she rolled bad, max but... on them. Oh, no, okay, well, I didn't. Well, the very first level is eight, no matter what. What's your common modifier? Plus one. So you'd have nine the very first time. So you only and got five from yeah. those two rows? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you did you yeah, even yeah. add did you even add one and well two? Yes, go. Damn. What? Okay, I went through it with two can. Okay, I only yeah, have yeah. fourteen. It was a horrible roll. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you guys uh, see Hideki and or well Gavel, you see Hideki and Baloney disappear beside you. And your skin is on fire right now. Not on fire, but you are burning. Look, you see him just like... And I need everybody that's still alive to roll initiative for me. Can I, can I, can I do false life real quick? Or I gotta have to wait for that. You, you're gonna have to wait for it, unless it's a reaction. Okay, am I alive? Yeah, you're alive. Do it. Do we add our uh, modi- like, modi- fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we rolling? Initiative. Initiative, yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll roll initiative over there? No, not the you. No, everybody's rolling. I know, I know, I have to roll. Not you. No, Gavelt still rolls initiative, too. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I have to roll twice, because I roll for the monkey, too. Wait, where's Baldwin? Oh. Uh, Baldwin- What? Uh, oh, never mind, I would have to make a deck save for him, because he was with Gavelt. Oh, Baldwin's taking 18 points of acid damage. Oh, no! Yeah, he's I'm in there sorry. with you, Gavelt. He's, uh, he's, he's still alive, life. but he ain't looking good. Baldwin! You... Baldwin! Oh. Oh. Vega, did you roll for your monkey? Can I use healing I word on him? I have a roll. I have a roll. Uh, you're, you're not with him. Cool. Yeah, you're not close enough. You're um, hold on, I'm oh, could you do that? So we have no idea they lost health. Yeah, you guys have no idea, and that uh, ogre is now blocking your path oh, no. to them. Let me, uh... I mean, we just heard noises. Yeah. Yeah, let me find my initiative modifier. I can't find it on this thing. Um, let me I see. thought, what, what's your roll before then? What's your 1d 20 plus 3? What's that? And I'll roll for Baldwin initiative. That, 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 oh, that, that, never, that, mind, that, never mind, never mind, never mind. 
I don't know. Almost God, that, was, that was a saving throw. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hideki and Baloney. I mean, to be fair, we're both the weakest, like, constitution wise characters. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that thing. I wrote I mean, that, uh, the monster that, like, in case you guys get 3d6 acid damage, and I rode three sixes. I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, one fell off my desk, so I seen two, and I was like, oh, that's not good. That's two sixes. That's 12 damage. And then I looked, and I was like, oh, that's three. I'm glad all three of us didn't die. Shit. Well, you did say that you <sighs> um, wanted more it's... than one person to meet the god of death at a time, so... Uh, Mega, could you just, like, roll 1d20s and let's yeah. see, like, if you need modifiers. We rolled so terribly, like, you could just first roll 1d20s. Yeah, if it's around there, then and, we know. And then if you if you it. need it, let then then we yeah, can well, get oh, okay, okay. Look at the modifiers. Okay. Uh, the first roll d twenty is for the monkey, which it's not doing shit. There we go, sixteen. Um, let me see. Okay, so then um, you don't need a modifier. Monkey's going first. <laughs> no, 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 no. We all rolled shit. That. No, I still have to. I still have to roll because I still have to roll for Gizmo because that's how the game works. Uh, plus three. Now yeah, I yeah. roll so with the modifier. For the monkey. But yeah, monkey no, roll yeah, monkey's <laughs> going first. <laughs> and then, and then uh, Lorcrin. 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 Yeah. Monkey's going first. <laughs> monkey's like, Monkey I'm out. <laughs> then Slim. Is it Slim after Gavel? Wait, no, Lorcrin. Oh, did you already include Lorcrin? Yeah. Oh, Mon yeah, Mon yeah. Monkey, Lorcrin, Slim, Gavel. Does anyone want to put in stream chat? Me, me. No. I, no, I will, no, I will once, uh, I, single. once I get it. Slim, then single. No. <laughs> what did Mimi dank roll? So, or what did you roll? Uh, a four. So it'll be single. God, two party members already down. This is not, this is not good. Oh, and I'm currently doing a great job of hiding. <laughs> you only have yourself to blame, Toucan. Let's go, Toucan. Let's go. No, I like. God. I'm fucking pissed. I know, I'm trying to get these numbers right. Single Mimi, and then Baldwin is after you. And both the monsters already took their action, so they will be after uh, Baldwin, uh, beginning with the orc. Or over. Sorry. So it is now the monkey's turn. Uh, Gavel, okay. Your so monkey is on uh, Lorcan's shoulder right now. You know, <clears throat> you just hear Gavel's voice to the monkey. Lorcan. <laughs> now. What's going on? <laughs> hey, does Lorcan say anything? Lorcan say anything on ours? He might mess it up. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. You should have voice of the monkey. Lorcan! He just sounds like he's in pain. What's going on? Uh. What the hell is that? <laughs> Talk about that thing. And, uh, Lorcrin, as this happens, you see your, uh, number on your hand go down to 54. Oh. Fair enough. Uh, as, you, as, as, as that happened, Gabel says, <clears throat> Gabel says, <sighs> uh, the tiefling and the boy are gone. <clears throat> They're dead. <clears throat> Is Gabel oh, hurt? Yeah, he's real hurt. <clears throat> yeah, Gabel's real yeah, hurt. <laughs> So is he's Bob. Talking use... to the he's talking to the monkey too. Uh, could I use healing word on Gavel? Uh, you are no, you are not by him, and there is currently a ogre in front of you guys. The rest of the party uh, blocking your path to that middle uh, hallway. You all need to get <clears throat> whatever happened here. You all need to get through this. <clears throat> I'll help Lorcan, but I can't make it to your position. 
And, uh, and you see, Keith, he just put his hands together and just placed his, you know, placed both his hands to get on. Uh, it just got on his back, on Loker's back, like it's a backpack. And you see it casting a jump spell on Loker. Okay. Um... So your jumping is three times modified now. Uh, am I supposed to be... Uh, you... Should I jump over the ogre? Yeah, uh, you can. You can. Uh, depending on how good of a roll your athletics is, is uh, will depend on if he gets an attack of opportunity on you. Oh no! Do not waste. Do not waste. You see, Gavel, Do not waste this spell. See the monkey just like say to all, say to all of them, all of you. I'll meet you on the other side. And it is. It is now <laughs> your turn. Uh, yeah, Lorcan. Is there any uh? Like ledges or anything, like near the ogre. Uh, let no, it there. It's like a small, uh, or not small, but like thin, alleyway, uh, leading toward that. But it's very tall, so you could you could hop over him on a good athletics roll. You could clear him without taking an attack of opportunity thanks to that jump spell. On a bad one, you're gonna take a attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, what I would like to do is take advantage of this jump spell, and instead of jumping over the ogre, I want to jump on top of the ogre's head and try to spear him through the back of the neck with my sword. Okay, so uh, if you want to target that, it's going to be a disadvantage on the attack. Oh, a disadvantage? Yes, if for targeted hit. Oh, <laughs> You got really well. But I'm going to say, like, I wouldn't, because, like, even if you hit him in the back of the neck, it's not going to help. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I'm just going to jump over him then. Okay. Uh, and I'm rolling. Roll that athletics for me. Okay. With advantage, it should be since he's got that triple jump. <laughs> oh, no. This might be bad. Oh no, I'm scared. Your distance is tripled. Oh. Oh my God. Four. All right. So will you see. will you let him? Will you let him roll again? Since the distance is tripled, I'll let the ogre stop. No, him. no, that's it's like over him. Uh, he's gonna take a hit. Oh. I gotta find out. Oh. I can picture this. He's the jumping up. It's sort of like. It's sort of like in cartoons when you're just about to fall off a ledge and you're just stopped there for a minute and you're like. I thought I had a fucking jump spell. No, you do, but uh, this boy's about 13 feet tall. Yeah, you're you're staring uh, right yeah. at whatever weapon it's that thing's holding. Yeah, right talk, right and it's I'll talk, I'll it's going to clip you for eight damage, but you get over it. Not, not bad. Yeah. Monkey hangs on. Not his, bad. His sword clips you for eight damage, but you're still. Yeah, you're 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 cleared, so you could move toward Gavelt if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll fucking run towards Gavel. All right. And then All right. Could I use healing word on him? the edge of the hallway, and you see Gavel is inside of a, a green cube, and you kind of hear his skin sizzling. Oh, okay. Um, is it like? Is it sealed? Uh, yeah, he's in there. Um. Okay. Um. Could I? What what kind of material is it? Uh, Can I? It just looks like gelatinous. Like Jello? Yeah. Jello. Okay. Uh, can I use my sword and try to cut him out of it? Uh, you can make a strength check. Uh, to try to get him out. Okay. Strength. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, that's not good. Oh, my dear. Come you on. didn't roll a four again. I don't think you rolled at all. There's no way. Okay, now you're wrong. 18, oh, okay. yeah, you get them out. But as you uh, get them out, you're taking 12 more damage, or 12 more acid damage. Your arms burn. 
as you Myron's mentioned, playing? yeah, and grab Gavelt. Uh, okay, I didn't want to reach Watch in, but it's fun. Oh, you you Watch have to. HP. Oh. What's your HP, Bloomy? Uh, by the way, keep up with the number. Uh, fifteen. Metagaming. After I lost, after I lost the eight points. That's not metagaming. Okay, no he, yeah, uh, Bloomy's looking bad. Uh, or Lorcrin's looking bad, uh, too. But uh, that cube I'm... seems to be standing still. Now he's not. It's not making any moves uh, toward you guys or anything. And see, Gavel on the ground is breathing heavily. Yeah, he he was suffocating side. too and burning at the same time. And yeah, uh, monkey like runs to a side. Well, now it is your turn, Gavel. <laughs> you see us resilient as I remember. <laughs> so it's at the local. Uh, you got yeah, the I cube don't remember. right there. Uh, in front of you, and then the ogre back in the hallway. Uh, meet yeah. or cutting off the rest of the team. All right, now if you both those uh fan sign, why you say part of his skin is like melted off and stuff like this? Uh, the bar. I'll make use of both of you. Said that about Hideki and uh, Baloney. She like just suck up the air and use false life. Okay. Okay, so is that me, a bonus uh, action or an action? Pulse life, I think, is an action. Uh, wow, that's, I can't type today. Wow, I really can't type today. And Pulse are you life. using it on action. the cube? Um, it doesn't. It, it absorbs the uh, like the distilled spirits around it. Like he. Oh, okay. Pretty much, it it doesn't affect the okay, cube. So I gotta roll one d four. I gotta uh, roll um. Holy shit. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use a level 2 spell slot, actually. So I'm going to roll 1d... 1d4... Wait, when you cast a spell using a spell slot level 2 or higher, you gain 5 additional temporary hit points for each slot above first. So what is it? 1d4 plus 4 plus 5? Yes, yes. But just do 1d4 uh, plus uh, your intelligence, so 4, and then we'll add the 5 after that so it doesn't confuse the bot. Okay. Uh, while this is happening, uh, Baloney, you and Hideki just seem like you're uh, falling. It's everything around you is pitch black. Oh. Okay, so you gain, you gain 10 uh, hit points. Uh, you're out. Baloney just hears free falling playing in his head. 16 HP. Uh, Hideki, uh, you are you are not a tiefling uh, right now. I'm in human form? You are in human form, Pauline. Uh, Hideki looks over at... Well, he looks at his hands and then looks over at Baloney and says, Is my face still a tiefling face or no? <laughs> Baloney's like, I don't know, I can't see in the dark. <laughs> and as as that happening, we go back. It uh Gavald, are you doing anything else on your turn? Are you moving toward the hallway or Um <clears throat> he, he he's just gonna stay there for a minute. He's just gonna stay there for a minute while those two like analyze the local situation. Gavel just says Wilbur just like knows that part of like the Velt's flesh just like degenerated as he did this like odd, like necrotic blackness smell that just goes into his mouth. I have many more stories to tell you. And I assure you I hate that kind of magic. You know, because you just watch flesh just regenerate life partially. So I don't know what kind of look Lorcan has. Not Lorcan, but uh Yeah, Lorcan. Anyway, seek about look over at uh, Baldwin. Yeah, Baldwin's still we need in. Need to get him out. Yeah, you see him look at uh, Baldwin, and then look at Lorcan. We need to get him out. He just points at that, and you can move on from there. Because I don't know if Bloomy's connections right in front of. Okay, you can take that. a bonus action to try to get him out if you want. It'll be athletics. Um. 
Uh, let me see. Do I have a way to not touch him? Uh, I've already used one action. I can take a bonus action. Yeah, that that would be a uh, bonus action if you tried that. Yeah, but your Gavel remembers that it burr, that it burr in low cramp. But uh, he can't, <clears throat> you know, he would uh, look for something or like, he'd just be thinking, just be thinking. Just move on. I can't, I'm not going to take that. <clears throat> Hello, are we here? I'm on a slog right now. Uh, sorry, uh, my uh, computer is like, hey, I'm going to restart. <laughs> And I'm like, no, don't do that, please. Everybody else still here? Y'all alive? Yep. Yeah, okay. no, I'm not. No, uh, it, technically. Uh, okay, okay. After that, it would go to Slim. Slim, it's your turn. Okay, uh, who's with me right now? Uh, the rest of the party. Other than Baldwin, uh, Gavalt, and Lorcran. So, Mimi and Sigma. <laughs> Isn't it just Oh yeah, Mimi it's just Mimi and Mimi Mimi and Oh no. <laughs> I forgot Jane's not here either. Yeah. Yeah, it's just you three staring down um a creature that's more than twice your size, Slim. Um I have a question. Okay. Remember that ensuring strike thing I asked you about? Wait, what what is it? Sorry. Wait, okay. Does a weapon attack can that count as any type of weapon? When it says when a weapon attack is made. Yes. Well, it do it doesn't specify. Yeah, yeah, so. it's just a okay. weapon, so yeah, your okay. bow and arrow would count. And, and like okay, cuz this is one of my spells and I'm looking at it, there's no like well, it says like the person like I'm like shooting at or whatever doing a weapon attack against has to make a strength saving throw. But, like, what be the DC that they need to roll? It doesn't say it in the spell. Um, I guess I discern that. Uh, what, what spell are you using? Let me just... Wait, you cut out. Let me share the link. Well, I, I, you'd have to tell everybody, too, for the people, like, uh, watching. Okay, hold on, give me a minute. Okay, and snaring, sni and snaring strike. The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before this spell ends, the target must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines until the spell ends. A larger, larger creature has advantage on this saving throw. While restrained by this spell, the target takes 1d6 piercing damage at the start of each of its turn. The creature is strained, or one that can touch the creature can use this action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, so it's my spell save DC. Yeah. On the yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is 12. Okay. Uh, do I want. Uh... The ogre could have modifiers as well. Um, nah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I think I'll just I'll just shoot at it. All right, you taking a, a pop shot at it? Yeah. All right, roll to hit. Eight. Yep, that hits. Eighteen. Roll those damage. A roll <laughs> die. <laughs> sorry. A roll that damage. Sorry. Nine. Okay, nine. Okay, yeah. You just, you guys, uh, Mimi and Single, you see a Slim uh, quickly reacts and uh, shoots an arrow uh, right into this thing's uh, thigh as it uh, screams. And again, with his scream, you hear the cavern kind of shake. Uh, it is now Single's turn, unless you want to do a bonus action, Slim. Or do you uh... have any bonus actions, though? What's a what can you do with the bow? What uh, can I do? like spells will say it if they can be bonus action. Um, oh, and then different stuff like you can ask me if you want to like or move like to a different area. Ah, uh, you, you know, guys are kind of trapped. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and use my the ensnaring strike. Strike. It's a bonus action spell. Okay. So okay. So you use it. Yeah. Okay. So your next attack will have that in. Oh. Oh. It's not for the. Oh. Then. Oh. I didn't know that. Never mind. No. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Never. Mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. It is now your turn. Uh. Single. I was thinking of fighting, but I guess it might be time to try out this Colossus Slayer thing if I actually hit. Yep. So I'll try and hit, and if I do hit, I'll hopefully do a decent amount of damage. Alright, roll. Roll to hit. And I do remember to remove the uh, arrows. Seventeen. All right, yeah, seventeen. That hits. Uh, row that colossus. Uh, or row your damage, and then row the colossus layer. I think it's another D eight, ain't it? Wait, is that? Yeah, is it's it? another D eight. I think I forgot to add that to my. Oh, did you pick it? Hold on. Because you can pick it on level up or on your third level. What did I, I pick Colossus Slayer? God damn it. You didn't pick it? No, I did. I oh. did pick Colossus. Oh, okay. Uh, go oh, ahead wait, and roll uh, a D8 then, uh, too, Slim. Oh, wait. I'll give it to I you. To I totally forgot about it. Oh, right, until you've done that, so it's easier to count out. Okay, so 11 damage is now on this bad boy. <laughs> no, that's good. Every little bit counts, especially in this position that you guys are in right now. Four? Okay, roll that D8 to go with that four. Come on. Not a one. Not a one. Okay, ten. Ten points of damage going on Ooh. by single as single looses an arrow and hits him in his other thigh. And now you just see this guy. What is it? Uh, Jim Carrey? The hooker is just like, ah! Ah! <laughs> Yelling at each arrow in his leg. And, uh... We now go to Mimi. Wait, Tank. I'm I'm sorry, my mine didn't count because um. Oh, he has only... to be damaged. Yeah, every yeah, time. yeah. I forgot. So that's 19 on him. Uh, it's your turn, Mimi Dank. Okay. Inspired by his fellow Smallman, <laughs> Mimi goes into rage. Okay. Braces up his braces up his shield. Grips his paddle and attacks recklessly. Oh, okay. All right. Mimi Dank goes in for the swing, and I want you to roll a d6 instead of a d4 because of the adjustments uh, Jank made to your paddle. So, this is on. <laughs> and I have advantage on this. Turn. 14. And uh, 11. 14 hits. Okay. Uh, roll that damage. So it's a... Uh, 1d6. Uh, yeah, 1d6 plus your strength. And then plus 2 for rage. Yeah. So, plus 5. And 8. Eight, and then that's plus two, so ten more damage. You see as uh, Mimi Dank goes up and swings his paddle and hits one of the arrows even deeper into the ogre's thigh. Oh, no. Bonk. Wait, which as arrow? A former, <laughs> as a former mason. <laughs> he sees the chance. Bonk. And, uh, <laughs> while this is going on, uh, that falling feeling stops uh, Baloney and Hideki and you guys are now in a waiting room type area where a little goblin uh, woman is flipping through papers at a desk. Elevator music. Uh, Hideki looks at the goblin woman and says, excuse me? 
Yes. Um, what are we doing here? Uh, you're waiting to see, uh, the god of death. Can I skip that and just go back to the shack? Uh, no, you'll have to talk to him. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. <laughs> well, you're about to talk to one, so your uh, beliefs might change. What if, in our place, we bring an annoying wizard instead? Would you accept that? You just see is like she's having traumatic flashbacks of all the countless like wizards that have went through here and tried to use spells in the waiting room. <laughs> oh God, please no. Uh, please take a seat. You guys can watch and you see is a little she holds a little orb in her hand and rows it toward the middle of the room and you see your party fighting an ogre now. And Mimi Dank just hits him with a paddle. Super Bowl Sunday. Baloney's like, oh. well, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to make everyone else around me suffer. And he starts playing the bagpipes, like, horribly on purpose. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> this, is, <laughs> look, Why? If this is not my fault. This is just my job. You don't have to do that, uh, Mr. Uh, Baloney Crisis. Or do you, oh, do you do I pronounce the five? He ignores her and keeps playing the bad <laughs> She, you just see her grab little like earplugs. Performance check. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll a performance check. <laughs> and then uh, while she's roll, doing that, we're going back to horribly. battle, and it's Baldwin's turn, and he's gonna try to get out of this thing. Oh, nineteen. Yeah. All right. You see Baldwin start like doing a doggy paddle, Gavelt. And he gets halfway out. Please, grab me. Grab me. This hurts so much. 17. Seek about help, Seek about help me. Uh, you know, see him and Bloomy, like him and the uh, law friend is helping him out. Yeah, yeah, you guys grab him and he's out. Oh, he's kind of like laying on the ground in pain. Oh, my God. I should have told you to not worry about looting areas especially when i was already paying you ow and what what did you get a 17 okay uh yeah hideki uh baloney's getting pretty good with her uh or his bagpipe playing but he was trying no, to play he's horribly, playing horribly so... so he's actually being really cool. bad oh okay that's, yeah that's, okay that's, yeah that's absolutely he's terrible so bad, he's, good. he's so bad he's good yeah put it that way uh this is where Baloney actually invents uh, the techno uh, <laughs> genre. <laughs> the techno. <laughs> with, a, with a backpipe. That's yeah, with name. a backpipe. And uh, stomping his feet on the chair. Um, it is now the ogre's turn, and he's going to take a swing at Mimi Dank. Oh, dear. Does, uh, okay, yeah, 20 will hit you right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's 11, so half down to 5. You take 5 points of slashing damage as a great sword comes down and kind of slashes oh, no. at your vine dress. And uh, you guys see the, like, hospital patients, like, walking around? Mimi Dank now has, like, a part revealing his butt on the back of the vine dress. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not really a dress anymore. You just see a green tush, uh, single hand, <laughs> slim. Mimi clenches, Mimi, Mimi clenches his buttocks. <laughs> this is I, feel a I feel a breeze. I feel a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> and it is, uh, now the cube's turn, and the cube's not gonna do anything. It's just chilling. Uh, <laughs> it is now the monkey's turn. Um, <clears throat> shut up! Okay, um, let me think here. Shut up! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, There's nobody on the track! Alright, 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 alright. Alright, let me think here. 
Um, the monkey is now just, just, just. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about I don't even know if the monkey is okay, man. I to probably like scan what the heck these even are. I, I bet, I bet they know Vega lives there, and they just honk the horn to annoy him. The one person that I don't know the if the monkey is. Uh, I don't know if the monkey is so because I'm making our kind of check. Do you have to make a nature check to like figure out what the heck these are? Like the monkey um, could do that. Cabela has to do that. No, I don't think the monkey could do that. No, no, no. Like Cabela would have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You give a hard out of his head. You see that monkey that's just, just looking at him. Oh. God, I know. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, does anybody else say anything around him? Because I'm having a hard time, like, you know, making people say everything right around him. Like, anybody say anything? Does Lorcan say anything? Well, yeah, it's just Lorcan there. Uh, he's kind of lagging, though, but uh, Lorcan's uh, good. No, I'm, I've cleared up, yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, because does Lorcan say anything regarding... Like the power situation right now, because Wolfram probably. Uh, I'm about. Up. Well, next turn I was about to attack the ogre, so maybe I'm but saying. Run way back there. Uh, yeah, they're attacking it, so I was gonna go help them out. Anyway, now you see, Gabel. <clears throat> How are you feeling? Asking Wolfram that. Uh, I'm I'm hurt to shit right now. Lord, damn it, Baldwin. Did Baldwin say anything? Uh, Baldwin is kind of having a panic attack on the floor right now. Jesus Christ. Anyway, now, whatever these things are, we can't afford to fight them. We can't afford to fight them right now. <laughs> Shut up. But if we don't, the other part of our party's gonna die. You know, you think about the corner of his eye. Do you think you can make it back there? Yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, now, Tinkerbell, just like looking at him. See the monkey jump on his shoulder? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sending him with you. <clears throat> cool. What does he do? Anyway, right. now, uh, it's like, it's like the monkey jumps on, jumps on Loker's shoulder again. I'm sending him with you. He seems to be fond of you. I can't cool. blame him. Anyway, um, all the monkey does is jump. He did not take an action. He just jumps on Lorcan. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's on Lorcan. Okay. That's part of his movement. Okay. And, uh, that's, that's, uh, his turn. Yeah, that's the monkey's turn. Just okay, jump on cool. Lorcan. Well, uh, we go off to, uh, Lorcan. It's now your turn. Alright, um, can I use... Healing word is a bonus action on myself. Yes, you can. Okay. I don't know how many hit points of damage I've taken. Can someone tell me? Like, I lagged uh, when you were trying to tell me the second part. I know I lost eight originally, but I don't know after that. You have taken, I think it's, I think it's 18 worth of damage. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> so what do I roll to heal myself? Um, healing word, uh, uh, but that helped me out. Is it 1d4 plus your charisma? And yeah. And spellcasting, uh... Or, or, no, charisma is the spellcasting. Yeah, 1d4 plus uh, spellcasting. Got modifiers. Yeah, your charisma. Oh! Okay. 1d4. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, not five. bad. Yeah, you get, you gain five uh, hit points back. Okay, can I can I walk towards uh uh or actually I want to stay where I am and can I shoot uh two of my arrows at the ogre? Uh, it's around the hallway, mm -hmm. so you wouldn't be able to hit it. Then can I move and line up with it, but yeah. stay stay at a distance? Yeah, you're in that hallway and it's cleared for a for a shot. Okay. Uh, can I can I uh, shoot two arrows at it? Uh, no. Simultaneously. It'll, it'll just be one one arrow. You can uh, shoot. I can't knock two and fucking shoot them simultaneously. Uh, I mean, I would. I'll say yes, but it'd be a disadvantage. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. All right. That's two what? two rows to hit. <laughs> 
Well, look, um, um, okay, I hope everybody's keeping all these numbers of ammo, by the way. Y'all one bullshit. I had five arrows, so this is about to bring me down to three. <laughs> yeah, cool. roll two d20s for me. Uh, okay. Plus your plus your dex, since it's a finesse weapon. So do them do them separately. Yeah. Like one d20 plus your dex modifier. Okay. Oh no. I hope you're not gonna do worse. <laughs> oh. Wow! oh my god! Let's just delete that first one. <laughs> so you guys, I mean, see, we don't have to look at it. You guys see Lorcan try to like put two arrows together and fire them. One hits the floor, but one actually does contact with the ogre. Just uh, there. Roll me one. Uh, thing of damage. Uh, I think you got a short bow off the cobalt, right? So it'd be uh, one d six, or was it long bow? It's uh, a short bow. Were were they shooting long bows in in the ship? I think we ship? all have short I bows. Doubt. Uh, so. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I just put I'm, added bow. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm, then one d six plus your dex on damage. I'm I'm the only one with a long bow. Yes, yeah, Slim actually ordered a long bow. Or used his order. Or used her order. Six on. plus what? Uh, your dex, uh, so plus three. Hey Stella, good pug. Seven. All right. Seven. Yeah. Uh, he takes seven it's points seven. Of damage as an arrow hits his butt cheek. Lorcan. <laughs> Lorcan. <laughs> uh, trying to shoot two of them. Hey, he developed telepathic. He developed telepathic shot. Did they telepathic uh, voice? Nice shot, like the monkey's little toe. Nice shot. And it is yeah. now Gavel's turn. Mini sees the ogre get hit in its butt and cringes. <laughs> the pain face. I just see Mimi with the pain face. The ogre doesn't. Even, the ogre doesn't even react to that though. It's just facing them. Okay. Yeah, it's just um, facing them. People are looking bald. He kind of puckers up a little bit. Anyway. So you develop, like, um, I mean, can, you, can you make a nature check on these things? Yeah, uh, yeah, or actually, uh, what would this be? Yeah, go ahead and make a nature check. Plus four. Wow, 20. Uh, 20, yeah, this is, this is a, uh, gelatinous cube. And uh, very, very acidic. Oh, really? Yeah, that's its name. Like you, you. Uh, oh, Gavel is it acidic knows. as well? <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> that's all I got <laughs> for you. <laughs> like that's what it is. Two, two, okay, cool. <laughs> that's a waste two. of a twenty. Think about these are extremely nice. Look at. It. <laughs> All right now, just like, would he have knowledge of their weaknesses or anything like that at all? Um, he would know that uh, they are immune to being like blinded, charmed, deafened, exhaustion, frightened, and prone. Okay. So he would. And know. Uh, I mean, it is actually blind uh, after sixty feet. It can only see sixty feet out, or sense things hmm. sixty feet out. Since it was on was the that... ceiling, it didn't sense you guys at all. Just that ogre knocked it loose from the ceiling. Uh, I'll say with that check, you do look up, and there are more uh, cubes on the ceiling. Oh, no. Anyway, <clears throat> you see... Havel, look at Balkan. I could use a fire spell to knock every... to not to kill these things below, but that could get us killed. You know, what is, uh, does Balkan say anything? Uh, I think they're fine up there. We could just walk around this one. It doesn't seem to be aggressive. It just oh, kind of no. fell on us. You I mean, know, I kind of hear the banging sound in the background from the fight going on back there. Yeah. Anyway, and you now, hear me be like 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 raging. Anyway, no. Like, you see Cabell's eyes go pale for a minute, but then, you know, they just stop going pale. Anyway, see Cabell. Do a hand gesture. Walk around. <laughs> it does that. 
You know, if they start, uh, he like develop puts his hand out to get balled one up. He just walks around them. He's gonna oh. make that. I'm gonna make that attack. He just walks he, around and tries to. Baldwin uh, looks at you and then he looks back. Are, are we not going to assist? You see, Gavel, I have an idea. They'll get out. Okay, Baldwin uh, uh, nods his head. Uh, yeah. Are you gonna do anything else, Gavel, for your turn? Um. <clears throat> Um, anyway, uh, not this time. Keep going. Oh, keep going. Okay. That would put us at slim as, uh, Gavelt uses his movement to walk around the cube and in farther into the room. I would like to, uh, find a shot at the ogre. All right. Uh, roll that, uh, to hit. Just, uh, waiting on it. Yeah, Mickey's slow. Oh yeah, that oh, hits. Oh my god, I was so, so close, close to the crit. Yep. Roll that damage. Ooh. And Colossus god. Slayer. That's a good shot. So, 8 damage for my regular roll. And then... One more d8. Come on, Miki, just... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Nine damage, you rolled a one on the Colossus Slayer, no. Damn. So that's nine damage added to that bad boy. There's your one, uh, Mimi. <laughs> Colossus Scratcher. <laughs> the Colossus Scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect, and it's now Colossus. single star. I'm guessing I'm going to do exactly the same and uh, try and shoot him. Alright, take that pop shot. Stella, stop whining. I swear, if, the, if there's like pug noises in the background, I'm sorry. Uh, 12, yes, uh, that no, hits. There's, there's none. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I guess it's because it's a giant. Yeah, he's pretty sort, big. Almost naked thing. Yeah. He didn't have time to get his uh, armor ready or anything either. Just like Mimi used to be. About to catch these hands. Alright, five. On the first one. And then the roll that Colossus. Three. Okay, so eight more damage added on. Nice. You just see uh, Single and Slim shoot at the same time. In each shoulder now. And the ogre is just rearing up, and the anger is uh, <laughs> flaming in his eyes uh, as we go uh, to Mimi. You uh, hear Slim yelling, Mimi, Mimi. You got a ra uh, range of inspiration. No. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. Mimi, Mimi locks his eyes on the arrow that's uh, sticking out of the ogre's butt. Oh. What? And, uh, and, and goes for, for that one. What was there a arrow in the butt? No, Lorcan hit him in the ass. <laughs> with oh, the yeah. Um. Okay, so you guys see Mimi swing his paddle between the legs of the ogre, <laughs> 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 trying to hit that arrow in the in the back. Oh, no. A road a hit for me. If I've ever wanted a that one, it's right now. Like. <laughs> Oh, it's a 20, damn it. <laughs> okay, so... I wish yeah. you were a nat 20. <laughs> if it was a nat 1, I oh, was going to say, Mimi, fun. you just see Mimi get teabagged. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. But no, that didn't happen. <laughs> Mimi swings back with his paddle 11. and hits 11 that arrow damage. to the side, so it kind of like cuts into the butt even more. Uh, downward for 11 damage and this ogre puckers up r and closes its legs in <laughs> you, you can see that he felt that one Mimi and we go back to Hideki and Baloney how much health does this ogre have <laughs> the waiting room you guys are just chilling I guess uh, she's now got her head or not headphones her earplugs in still doing paperwork 
and you also see her ring a little bell. Is there a door that leads into like whatever place we're meeting? Yeah, there's a the door. Bed? There's the door beside her. Uh, Hideki stands up and goes to the door and bangs on it. Oh, uh, I'll tell you when it's time to go back. <sighs> this is annoying. Baloney, can you stop playing that um, bagpipes? My ears are hurting. Baloney stops. Thank you. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, you stop for him, huh? He's not the one holding us hostage here. I'm. Look, this is just my job. All right. Like... Wait. Well, are you proud of your job? Uh. No, but it does have uh, pretty good benefits. We get health, dental, and eye. And she, like, kind of smiles at you, and her teeth are really white. <laughs> How long do we have to wait? We've been waiting here forever. I'm just seeing, as she points to the little uh, scrying orb, that's what she dropped down. I'm just going to see if any more of your friends end up kicking the bucket too, so I don't have to keep making uh, tracks back. Don't call God. those my friends. God, I hope it's not Gavel. Slim just, uh, you, you see Slim grab her chest and just feel some pain. Like, I mean... Okay, associates, I, I mean, if you didn't like the people, I don't know why you went up back with them. I had one life. Oh. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> you were pretty bad then. Okay, I don't blame you. And uh, we go back over, and it is now Baldwin's turn. And Baldwin it just follows Gavelt, and we go to the ogre's turn. Uh, and he is swinging again at... Uh, Mimi, you did not attack recklessly that time, did you? No, I can only do it like the first attack okay, on the since combat. This is a thin hallway. Let me see here. Ooh, oh, all right. Um, he swings his uh, great sword down and smacks the wall, and it rumbles. Uh, I am going to roll for the cubes now. Oh so, no! Fifteen. Uh, no. They, can I, can they, I just take the hit instead? They, <laughs> they, they, uh. Like, Mimi dives in. Hit me! Well, uh, Gavel, you and Baldwin look up as the ceiling starts jiggling again, but none of the cubes fall. Okay. Uh, Baldwin is like, oh, I think we oh. may have made a mistake. And he looks back. <laughs> he might bring the whole thing crumbling down on us. monster and the cube is just gonna stay there that the one on the ground it kind of jiggles a little bit and we're back to the monkey we go we go we go pop 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 uh i guess the monkey's just chilling on my shoulder still i don't uh I don't oh know. is gavelt gone yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that there's not really much the monkey can do right now. Yeah. And she's not uh, here. Uh, Lorcrin, it's not your turn. What's the ceiling made out of above the ogre? Uh, the ceiling. Uh, you just see it looks just like a cave, like it's rocks. Above him. Um, okay. Can I uh cast firebolt at the ceiling above the ogre? Uh, at the cil okay, uh, I'm just gonna let you know. Depending on how much damage it does, it could send a rock down. But if it sends a rock down, it's shaking the ceiling, and I'm gonna have to roll for Gavelt and Baldwin again. Uh, the cubes. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> uh, I guess can Mimi can Mimi brace his shield. I guess roll to hit with your spell casting. Uh, or spell casting attack uh, modifier. Is I'm gonna mute the entire time because I want yeah, the monkey were... to actually do something. Oh yeah, you were you were muted. 
Yeah, and I wanted the monkey to actually do something, but since we're actually here, we can take care of two birds with one stone. If you hear Cabell through the monkey, don't even think about it. <laughs> At this point, I'm gonna go ahead. Smart. And... I'm gonna the go. The smart ahead. thing to do. You just hit it, monkey. Before you do that, the smart thing to do is to not actually engage the thing, or else we'll all die here. I'm not engage it. I was trying to disable it for our homies to just run past it. The seat, the cave is unstable. Damn it! We're in a terrible situation. And you uh, and there's more of these things on the ceiling. You don't know if the cave is stable or not. You the just saw. You just saw. You just saw me covered in ass. Don't be ridiculous. I know you're smarter than this. So basically, uh, if. If me be squints, you can just about see someone in the hallway arguing with the monkey. Yeah, well, <laughs> single too. Like you just see the you just see the monkey with yeah. glowing eyes. Slam. Yeah, you see the monkey. You see the monkey. Actually, I can't make the monkey make a like move. Like Lark Rins uh, talking to this monkey, like on his shoulder. Like you see the monkey. <laughs> you, you, you see the monkey just say, "We can't." You see the monkey say, "We don't have time to fully defeat it. <laughs> we need to get out of here. <laughs> you provide uh, a distraction." <sighs> Okay. That's, you, okay. You okay. Okay. I'll distract. I'll distract. Shooting in the ass. You keep shooting in the ass. The monkey attempts to run all around the giant or under the giant blade if it can to ooh, someone like Nugget. Okay. Or actually, no. Actually, just, no. Just, just, just wanna, do what you want. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cast Unseen Servant and I'm gonna command it to lure the ogre uh, uh, away. Read Unseen Servant for me. Uh, yeah, the spell creates an invisible, mindless, shapeless force that performs simple tasks at your command until the spell ends. The servant springs into existence in an unoccupied, unoccupied space on the ground within range. It has AC 10, 1 hit point, and the strength of 2, and it can't attack. If it drops to 0 hit points, the spell ends. Once on each of your terms, as a bonus action, you can mentally command the servant to move up to 15 feet and interact with an object. Uh, the servant can perform simple tasks that a human servant could do, such as fetching things, cleaning, mending, folding clothes, lighting fire, serving food, and pouring wine. Once you give the command, the servant performs the task to the best of its ability till it completes the task and waits for your next command. Okay, so I guess you see the servant uh, walk through the uh, ogre's legs and start jumping up and down, waving. <laughs> I don't try to think get the ogre's on, attention. On its own, it would get its attention. Like, no, it'd like, have to attack it like it's engaged with Mimi right now. But Mimi would have to disengage. Could the monkey try and grab on, some um... of its food. Actually, wait, wait, can, uh, can we go back to the monkey's turn real quick? And can we send the monkey over to them to tell them to get out of the way? Because we're going to... Try to lo uh, lure the ogre. That's what I've been, tr well, That's what I've been trying right, to do. The, means, the means monkey would have to in the roll a stealth check for me. It's small, I mean, so uh, I'm not saying it's an automatic attack of opportunity, but he's going to have to roll a stealth check for me. Roll 1d20. Let's see, if, see if it dies. Small, fast little thing, too. So roll 1d20. 13. Let me roll for his perception. Yeah, he sees it. He's taking the hit. Uh, what's oh. the monkey's armor class? Just dies. Oh, yeah, he, no. he wrote a 13. Okay, yeah, you just see the monkey get stepped on. Oh, um, no! As blue powder, it kind of goes in the air and goes back to Gavelt. What was the uh, monkey's name? Poof. Yeah, <laughs> King. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, Gavelt. Actually, actually, you see the monkey up here on your, uh, your shoulder, Hideki, in the waiting room. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And it's just like, it's just like, you see it just shrug, you see it just shrug his shoulder. <laughs> shoulders. <laughs> you take it, damn it. Baloney asked the secretary, do you know of a way to kill this monkey? Uh, <laughs> and give out here this stuff. A familiar Wait, maid the in the underworld, I'm not sure it can die. Oh no. Wait, does the monkey okay. have like does the monkey have unlimited lives? Uh yeah. Mm, that's really oh cool. my well, god. I guess it does. <laughs> I guess it does. I guess it does until Gavelle resummons it. Otherwise Gavelle can't see what's Oh going no, on. it's you, stuck you in see... the waiting room right now. 
Do you want a free pet monkey, Secretary? <laughs> so wait, is the actually, god of death yeah, gonna have actually, like a chat think... with the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> You don't uh, know he's down there with Hideki right through now. The memories of eating bananas. <laughs> Some kind of zoo in the underworld that we can throw this thing into. Or a trash can we can put over its head. Oh. And uh, the you monkey. See mon you, see mon you see this monkey. You see this monkey. You see this monkey if you start talking. You know, y'all some fucking big watch. You know that. <laughs> and uh. We go I'm, a an, I'm a master. I'm a I'm a master an ass. But you so, guys are fucking big. Lord Green, it's your turn. Uh, didn't I send the oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, servant the to distract servant. Yeah, the servant. Can, can it, like, uh, run past me, me and everybody leading, like, the ogre? Uh, like, it, it can run past, but since it's not attacking, the ogre's still gonna be focused on, uh, me, me. <laughs> me, me would have Wasn't to Wasn't there a range, range as well? How far the think could go oh what is the range uh blue i'm sorry wasn't it like 15 feet uh 60 feet oh yeah you're good you're oh good. 60 feet oh, okay uh can i yell to mimi to disengage yes you can as a bonus action uh okay or can i action for an action? No, free action. Free action. Oh, free action. Okay, I yell at maybe dang. Uh, disengage, disengage. I'm gonna try to lead it away. Uh, Mimi well, dang, his roll, rage, Mimi ignores it. Perception check for me to see if you heard that in your rage. Oh, okay. Don't ignore it, piece of shit. It's almost oh, dead. Not one, not one, not one, one, not one. This. Yeah, oh yeah, you hear him. You hear him. Well, uh, Mimi doesn't react to it. Uh, okay, it, whatever. It is now uh, Gavelt's <laughs> turn with Baldwin. Okay, All right, now you see Gavelt, these blue veins over his eyes. You like see this mist going, this mist coming out of his eyes. Like you see him looking frustrated. Hey, does uh, Baldwin say anything? Uh, Baldwin is kind of scared, and he he wants to go back. He does not want to be here in with the ceiling covered while that ogre's fighting. You see, Gavo. Uh, you really insist we go there. I would prefer it, yes. You know another way around this trap? No, but if we immobilize the ogre, at least the ceiling won't be shaking. The ceiling could collapse everywhere around here. Think about. Are, there, are there two different ceilings? Like, uh, like, like, are the are the slime things above us too? No, they're not. No, they're, they're no. above. Uh, it's, it's above. We're if you look at the map. If if you look at the map, I'm assuming we're in the giant chamber. Yeah, area you guys are kind of in the middle of the giant chamber. There we go. Gavel, Gavel's just thinking, Baldwin probably would be like, we can't just leave them. Well, yeah, that and just... uh, he doesn't want to be encased in slime again. If, like, the ogre hits the wall. Gavel just looks at him. God, God damn it. It's not, like, it's not like it's the last thing. It's not like it's the last death anyway. You see him just wave his hand. Angry looking. You see him cast mage armor on himself. Okay. What does that bring you up to? 15 armor class? So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to do a bonus action too. Let me see here. Um, I hate I hate this website sometimes. Level 1 to 2. Level 1 to 2 with this spells. Hurry up on love. Mage armor. 13. 13 plus dexterity modifier. Go to the character sheet. Um, armor class. Armor class is 13, so 13 plus 13, 26, 20, 29? Wait, no, no, it would it would bring your what? armor class to 13 and then add your dex. Armor class, is, armor class is already 13. Okay, then it would just add your dex to that 13 then. Okay. 
Okay, so dexterity modifier. Well, it, it becomes 13 plus dexterity modifier. So 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, okay, okay, yeah, your uh, your AC is now 16. Okay, my HP right now. Okay, I'm going to check my HP later. Anyway, you see Cabell at the bonus step. Can I put, see Cabell grab a... <laughs> see Cabell just grab, just place his hand on the boulder. Okay. This is going to cost a lot. This is going to cost a lot of energy. Right now, <clears throat> you see him just tap his foot to get ready to do Misty Step. This is normally for one person. <laughs> they only get us, they'll probably get us a shorter distance across, but at least around those, pointing those, pointing those things. All right, so you cast uh, Misty Step? Uh-huh. Okay, cool, cool. You guys uh, make it back to where like, that first, first cube is. Uh... I have a question. Would yes. it be possible to, if my unseen servant uh, lured it to where I and Gavelt were, uh, and we made it like hit the wall or something, could it encase itself in the gel? Um, let me see here. I think so, but I think it gets advantage on getting out because it's. Yeah, uh, you're talking about it running towards you, Baldwin and Gavelt. Yeah. yeah. But and think about all that acid damage. Yeah, I mean, if it that's what y'all want to do, it could work if you can get it to follow the Unseen Servant. Um, wait. I mean, I do I do have an idea about that. Okay. Well, if we were to pick up on the, that dead body that had the sword <laughs> and then run off with it. <laughs> it is yeah, now Slim's you. turn. I'd like to uh, shoot at it again. All right. Take the shot. All right. So now that I now I deal damage. Yeah, that hits. Eighteen. Five. And then five. And add one d eight. I swear to God. Oh, not too bad. Twelve. That's 12 damage on this bad boy. Uh, slim Tissue just keeps hitting the sweet spots in between the muscles. As this uh, ogre roars in uh, pain. And his eyes get fiercer at you, Mimi Dank. Um, and it's now Single's turn. I guess since we've been tag teaming so much, I'll shoot him again. Alright. Alright, take the shot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that hits. 21. Five for the first one, then roll that D8. Okay, 11 points of damage, yeah. Everything Slim's doing on one side of the body, Single Nugget is doing on the other. You just see this ogre becoming covered in arrows, but he's still standing strong, as it is now Mimi's turn. Okay, since Mimi can't probably hit any higher, <laughs> um, he goes. He goes. He go, he goes for a kneecap. Okay, he goes for a kneecap. <laughs> Roll a hit for me. I can sense it. Stella, I will give you attention. You get all oh, the attention. Oh, we're all 23. Oh, you're crying. Something oh, yeah, that hits. worries me a bit about where he's aiming. <laughs> Is it really Pulls good thing to have that giant Pulls control over? Gim Gimli. Gimli. <laughs> Gimli from Lord of the Rings. And he hit that one orc in the nuts. In the second movie, you know what I'm talking about, Paulo? Helm's Deep. <laughs> <laughs> Helm's Deep. <laughs> All right, for nine points of damage, as uh, uh, Mimi Dank wallops this thing in the kneecap. It's nine? still standing, though. Oh, God. And uh, we go back to the guys in the waiting room. You guys are seeing all this happen. And then.
the monkey's kind of like not on your shoulder anymore. <laughs> Decky. Like, do you guys want to do anything or ask anything? I know there's not a lot you guys can do since you died at the beginning of that. Um, look, we can, uh, I guess Hideki looks at the secretary and asks, so what exactly are we going to do here? Uh, you guys will go talk to the god of death, and then uh, he'll probably ask you for a memory. You'll give them a memory um, and be on your way. You, on the other hand, I don't know, since he already owns you. Um, also, is this, he points at himself, human form permanent? Uh, I'm not sure. You'll have to take that up with him. Uh, he deals with all, the, all the magic Most jumbo, mumbo jumbo. I you just don't matter how long. As she slaps her paper. Huh? So he's going to take a happy memory from us? Uh, yes. What if you don't have any happy memories? Uh, he's going to take something. What about the juice? What the hell? You're not even there. No, oh, I'm no. no, but like, I'm saying like, if you don't have a happy memory, drinking the juice at, uh, what's your face's place? Oh. Go, can you not reveal what I have planned, please? Anyway, the monkey just says, you know, Master had a lot of respect for you, you know, talking to you, Decky. Gotta say, you look good in this fool. I'll just tell him about it later next time he summons me. <laughs> you just see the, uh, the monkey with the Pepe thing face, like, going up and down. <laughs> Decky in his human form. Hey, Decky, like, yeah. grabs the monkey and picks up and puts it on Baloney's shoulder. You can have him now. <laughs> Baloney picks up the monkey and then just drops it on the ground. Mm. Oh, rude. Yeah. See the monkey. See the monkey. Sit. 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 Dear, I don't really have goes, anything oh, to help. Oh, my, my, my. Think I about. <laughs> do you know. about pulling the yard up in the background, walking up there real slow. I do <laughs> know some of the healing uh, attributes, though, as he takes out a potion. And uh, he uh, starts to, uh, you see him lean forward and kind of, at your consent, he will pour it in your mouth, Lorcan. Uh, I consent. <laughs> okay. Like, Hesitantly. Oh my. <laughs> you oh my, see Bob reach up slowly and start pouring <laughs> a healing potion in Lorcrin's mouth. What, what, what does bow. Lorcrin drink it himself? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not as sexy. Oh my god. god. Very you get, distracting. <laughs> you can help for uh, six uh, more HP, uh, Lorcrin. Uh. I think about why he's walking over with eyes. Like his eyebrows why look went up when he saw him like chugging the thing as he's walking over there. Like he had a flashback, low crew when he was in the party with all these women. You know, you were always quite the chugger. Chug, 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 chug. I guess some people don't even change even when they're in hell itself. Or at least close to it. Next person. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> And uh, now we move over to the ogre, and he's taking another swing at uh, Mimi Dank. And does a 16 hit you, Mimi? Uh, yeah, my AC is 16. Okay, it, it, it hits. And um, you're going to take four points of damage as he brings down that greatsword. It hits your shield. But just the force of that impact is what did the uh, damage uh, to your arm. This, this thing swung down hard on you. Uh, but good thing is the uh, he didn't hit the cave wall this time. Uh, and we now go to uh, the cube. And let me roll something. 
He he's not even gonna bother you, Gavel. He just stands there, or he's just chilling. Mm -hmm. Um, and you more useful character than Dawn. Now we're back to Lorcan. <laughs> um. Okay, so can I? Hold on. I would like to uh, shoot an arrow uh, at the back of the ogre and command the unseen servant uh, with my bonus action to uh, um, like uh, tap it and then run towards uh, me, uh, Gavel, and uh, whatever. Yeah, Baldwin. <laughs> okay, so um, take the shot. Uh, what would that be? Uh, 1d20 plus your dex. Okay. Because you're, you're shooting at him with the arrow, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, question mark. 19, yep, that hits. Uh, does it start to follow the unseen servant towards us? Um, let me roll. Perception. Uh, it is currently engaged with Mimi. <laughs> he's not, he's not getting off Mimi. Alright, so do I roll damage now? Yeah, yeah, roll damage. Okay. I'd be 1d6 plus 3, right? Yes. Roll the 6. 6, okay. Alright, and then as you see, uh, Lorcrin hit the back of this thing. You see it start to stumble, and it's uh, going to fall down, and Mimi, I need you to make me a deck saving throw. Oh no. Or a strength saving throw, your choice. Well, yeah, strength saving throw, you're taking thing. damage, but it's going to be less if you fell, or less than what if you did if you failed your deck saving throw. Yeah, well, it's, then I'll go for this strength. It's not going to go. <laughs> All right. 15. A 15. All right. Rolling for this. Okay. That's probably, he's probably going to lose. He's probably going to lose that, to be honest. I think he's bulky. Oh, yeah. You, well, you I, only take... Well, I, you only take two points of damage as yeah. it uh, <laughs> kind of falls on you, but you brace yourself up and uh, are able to, like, kind of, like, push him off to the other side. But that force impact. I brace myself. Uh, can I scream to them, this is your chance, get over here? Isn't That's... Gavelt still in that room with the slime? Yeah, Gavelt's still by the cube right now. And the thing just fell out. Yeah, it fell. And shaking will probably happen. Um, yeah. He got a moderate shake on the wall. Let me roll. Oh, yeah. Uh, give out. I am going to need you to roll me another deck saving throw. Uh... It's about to be bad. No, oh, it's, it's, not, it's not a high save. So he's got a good chance. Well, you say that. Yeah, but then, like, he deck him at 8 and then him 12. Jinx, jinx, Knocks jinx, on jinx, wood. jinx, 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 jinx. 18. Oh, oh 18. yeah, Gavelt sees it coming, and just, like, MC Hammer steps to the side. And <laughs> and falls down and uh, blocks the hallway. I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really amused, and yeah, kind of like, I don't know how to feel about it. Once he's however, I just want him to die. But okay. It blocks the hallway. Yeah, the uh, hallway is now blocked, and uh, 
but you guys are out of combat now. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to Baloney and uh, Hideki. Can um, I take out my arrows, though? Wait, yeah, is the ogre dead? The ogre is dead, yes. I, I um, landed the finishing shot on it? Yep. Okay. All um, right. the, the only arrow that would be salvageable since he landed front uh, in the like front ways would probably be uh, the last one or or uh, Lord Ren shot. Okay. Uh, can I take his head? Uh, you can try to, but ho hold on real quick. I'm gonna go to them since they they've been you know chilling okay. over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um. The huge dad head. Okay, uh, baloney. Uh, cry five is, and uh, he decky. Uh, the door opens. Uh, you guys can go back now. Seems like your friends, uh, or your acquaintance has made it. How exciting. Baloney picks up the monkey and sets it on her desk. Watch this, won't you? Uh, no, he's going with you. Damn it. Does he have to? Uh, yes. Woo! Uh, I guess, um... Hideki walks into the door. All right. Ooh, well, yeah, he walks into, and he tries to like close the door before the monkey can make it through. Uh, Ooh, you, yes, uh, right you try, and the door doesn't move. Uh, baloney. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna see the god of death. We're gonna see the god of death. And uh, not really. The experience is painful. As as you guys walk forward, the the monkey goes. Um, in the party, uh, you got like you guys. Everything stops, and you're just seeing what uh, Hideki and Baloney see. Like at your leisure, you can choose who you're watching from. Okay. Um, the monkey. Is that everybody. Yeah, or the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> so the bell kind of feels like a like a weird tingling. Like, why are there so many people crossing? And um. It is mom. You guys see as a uh, green uh, lantern appears, and a uh, hooded uh, slinky the figure. The superhero? Uh, <laughs> no, not the superhero. <laughs> the green lantern appears. <laughs> Sign my baby. <laughs> no, no, a, a, a lantern with a green light appears as a, a dark hooded figure gestures you guys to get on uh, the little uh, like gondola. I'm thinking to myself, please throw the monkey off the boat. <laughs> and he gets on the boat and motions for Baloney to follow. Baloney like hesitates. Does this thing have life jackets? Nope, the monkey says. I guess the figure ignores him, so he just gets on the boat after Hideki. I mean, he just shrugs. He's like... <laughs> You don't trust my, like, uh, guiding? <laughs> he, like, knocks off and starts going. As, um, like, you guys didn't give me as detailed as a backstory, so I, Hideki, as we're going down this path, uh, what, what do we see uh, from your memories? Like, just anything? Like, what, what, would, what would be, like, defining moments in Hideki's life? Starting from childhood and going up, like, not like too long, but you know, just like a little recap of what he's seen. Right. Um, well, you see Hideki, he was born to a caravan of performers. Circus performers, pretty much. Um, he worked there as a stable boy with his parents. And as you see him grow up, you see that every village they went to didn't like the performers because they believed that they were a nuisance for a lot of the time. A lot of the time they were ran out of towns. And uh, they, one time when they came across an elf village, the performers were uh, captured and put in jail and then burned alive. Oh, and you see that Right before Hideki dies, he makes a pact with the uh, God of Death, and then he transforms from human to a tiefling at that point. The 
emerging uh, from the fire becomes the n n latest warlock of the god of death uh, at the time, Hideki. And um, as we go to Baloney's childhood, uh, what does what does Baloney see uh, as we're tra traveling down the river, uh, Patat? Um, Baloney grew up, well, not grew up, but he was born to a rather high-class human family from the Mulan subcategory, I guess you could call it. And his family kept slaves that were orcs. And one day, the slaves decided that they were tired of being slaves, and they murdered his entire family right in front of him and took him to be a slave as, like, a revenge. And then the rest is just him growing up, being abused by the orcs and having to be their slave. Yeah, you also see Strudel you also, Kitty. Yeah, yeah you see Strudel Kitty come in there at some point, too. Yeah, he was a fellow slave with a baloney crisis. And uh, after uh, after you became a tiefling, what, what do they see now? Uh, Hideki, the people uh, viewing from your eyes. Oh, they're viewing from my eyes. Okay. Um, the God of Death. After that, he lost contact with the God of Death, as you learned. Um, when you become a warlock, the God of Death doesn't really tell you what you need to do. You just kind of have to assume what he wants. So, Hideki took it upon himself to get revenge on the Oak Village and tried to murder everyone to give the god of death more people for death. I mean, uh, what they were all elves, weren't they? What happened to Hideki? Oh, um, what happened to him? He got captured, obviously, and he got poisoned from arrows. He was hung up and then shot with a bunch of arrows, poison tipped, and he died. So you gotta see Hideki in a firing range uh, style, shot with arrows as he uh, as the background fades into black and baloney for the people uh, that are watching through your eyes. What uh, happened uh, to baloney? Um, while he was growing up, being a slave and being beaten and brutalized and whatnot. He would sneak out sometimes, and he learned how to be a bard from a bard in, like, a town. So that's where he learned that stuff. And that bard also taught him how to make, like, ex explosives. And he planned to get revenge on the orcs by killing them all, but with explosives. But when he tried to blow up whatever house they were in, the orcs were actually gone. <laughs> and he ended up blowing up himself and Strudel Kitty instead. And that's how they died. Okay, you guys see just Baloney and Strudel Kitty encased in flames as uh, it turns to blackness. And uh, in the distance, you guys see that same boat uh, you seen with, when Gavelt came. And um, the slinky figure s steers up next to it, and you guys see a little ladder. And... Um, you guys see the monkey climb up it? I guess Hideki follows the monkey. Baloney well, goes to then. He is see not too walk. happy about having to see all of that again. Same with Hideki. Hideki. See the monkey whoop, turn to see boss. From what I heard from Master, he's a pretty swell guy. Um, you would know, would it, Chip? Talking to Hideki. As you guys get on the belt, the sky is instantly uh, clear blue, uh, sun shining, mm -hmm. uh, relaxing breeze blowing as a door uh, slowly opens, uh, leading in inside to the captain's quarters of the boat. Uh, Hideki knocks on the door. Baloney just stands there. Come in, don't be shy. This guy again. Opens the door, walks in. Baloney walks in too. Monkey's still working. 
yeah, yeah, monkey, the monkey walks in too, or, uh, Keith, Keith King walks in. Well, Mr. It's... Even, Mr. Eventide, I'm the camera monkey. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna listen and watch. It's nice to see you, Hideki. And... Eventide, long time no talk. <laughs> and, uh, Mr. Crisis, please take a seat. Um, as you, uh, see two cups appear on the on the desk in front of you. What would you like to drink? A water, please. And, uh, the cup is full with water. Baloney just shakes his head. What's wrong? He looks just to ask you. He wrong. just doesn't want anything. Okay. Okay, you don't have to drink with me. Uh, you see him as he opens a, a bottle of wine. I want you guys to make perception checks. And uh, pours it into the cup. He kind of crosses. Do we make perception leg. checks as well? Uh, no, we're, just. Uh, uh, we're seeing through their eyes, though. Like, yeah, but just baloney and. Uh, please, a little better than Vega last baloney. time. What do you mean by better than me last time? Oh, 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 oh yeah, you kept rolling like eight. Well, <laughs> you rolled the three or five time like shit. Oh, I, I, I got a twenty-five. I said, okay. I said, yeah, I, I get it. I said, yeah, I remember. I rolled like a rock. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to. Thirteen. Yeah, uh, loyal. You get the feel like Gavelt did that. Uh, this guy's body body type is pretty similar. Somebody you've seen before, and Baloney, you hit it on the pin. It looks like Dawn, but without a face, and you can see uh, through his skin, his organs and bones inside of him. Oh, gross! Baloney kind of wrinkles his nose at that. No, no need to be rude. You look very familiar. I can't well, I place should. It. to you. He, like, looks over to you. Well, you look like someone we met on one of our trials, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Oh. I wonder what You look like that scraggly, beardless pirate drunkard dude. I almost had all of him, but he ended up partying up with you guys. But yes, mm. I guess I do resemble him a little bit. Um, but I'm going to let you guys ask me whatever you want to ask me, and then I'm going to ask you for a memory. I'm not going to pick it, but if you give me a sour one, I'm going to, uh, take three the next time we meet of my choice. But go ahead. Do you have any questions, uh, Hideki, uh, Mr. Crisis, I believe? I'm not for sure. If it's Crisis or Cry Fivis, you can just call me Baloney. Okay, Mr. Baloney. All the monkey's picking his nose. He just says, "Uh, the girl, the elf girl wants to know, do you put, do you use lotion?" What? It puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You see, I'm just you kidding. see the even Todd look over at the monkey. It's like, oh, this is new. <laughs> Mr. Zervin, do you wish to join us again? Oh, God, please don't bring him in here. I would prefer Define that not be the case. Evan you, see the you see the monkey just say, uh, Master says, ma Master gives his greetings, but he would not prefer. As a matter of fact, you have a problem with dispelling me. Maybe you could just, you know, the thing just disappear. Mr. Eventide, is there a way for you to cut off the communication so it's only one way where they can only see us, but they can't communicate with us? Uh, yeah, Gabelle read Gabelle snapped his fingers and turned them on just you see it disappear. So you see Gabelle balling his fists. Finally you all can stop raping my conscience. Look at everybody else who's trying to use the monkey as a big thing to see. Oh uh, no, you're kinda of stuck in that monkey's body, uh, Gabelle. You're kinda of just okay. there. I just mean, we're broadcasting to them, but can they not broadcast to us? Um, 
Mr. Zervin, would you be so kind as to let them ask their questions? Let me see you, monkey. Master, you can speak to me now? You're the only one seeing me? See, Zervin, you hear Zervin's voice? Of course you get. Of course you idiot. Now be quiet. Okay. All right. Off to you guys. Do you have anything you want to ask uh, Eventide? Um, what do we get at the end of these trials? Uh, you get Mr. A wish Tide. If you pass. Any wish? Within my power. And if my wish is to be brought back to life. I could bring you back to life. But what exactly would happen? You're only allowed one warlock out in the living room. Uh, you would no longer, uh, have the title as my warlock. Where is Dawn right now, and the orc, and the pink-haired girl? Oh, Eventide is looking at you, uh, Baloney. And he's kind of like biting his lip. You know the girl? I've only seen her. I do not know where they're at right now. To be honest, and it's uh, kind of uh, making me upset. Seems uh, something happened, and I cannot track her, even in uh, this realm, which belongs to me and the other gods. So I don't know if it is another god getting in my way. Or something of equal power, which would be a demon lord. So, I recommend that you not have any association with that girl. Because I don't know what's going on. I have to further investigate that. Hmm. Well, he kind of has a nervous look. Can Gavel talk to it? Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, this trial that our acquaintances are on, how, what do they have to do to complete it? Oh, the one you guys are on right now? Of course. Well, first you gotta get through that cave. It seems you guys are already having a little trouble, uh, seeing as you're here right now. Um... I recommend not getting so greedy in the future because that did end up costing you guys and I also recommend staying together and working as a team if you wish to pass this yes I, like I did it by myself but here I am as a god now you guys have yet to prove what you have coming. And what is the next trial we should expect? Um, I can't tell you too much. I do want uh, you, you guys to prove to me that you can be heroes. And if you do that, I will grant you a wish. And Why are you so fixated on heroism? Uh, the sky turns black outside of the boat you guys see from the open door and uh, he walks outside would you like to join me outside and he refills your uh, cup Hideki are you sure you don't want to drink uh, Mr. Bologna? I'm fine thanks okay he walks outside uh, do you guys join him yes yeah okay monkey uh, follow is going to get on either of the shoulders you guys see uh, in in the sky Eventide closely uh, or someone close to Eventide. There's no there's no figure uh, there. Just uh, I, I guess there's just like an outline of a figure <coughs> next to him. And um, 
Sorry, I had to take a drink. This figure falls down, and you see Eventide uh, tears coming from his face. Uh, stricken with grief. And um, you guys see the goddess uh, Baldwin was actually talking about mother uh, covered in flowers. Eventide like, tells you who, it, who that is. And um, she comes and touches him. And uh, he tells you, I had to give up everything to give that person a chance to redeem themselves. They went, uh, they disobeyed mother. And the price for that is uh, not very, not very good, to say the least. I gave up everything I cared for, which was my, besides them, my rank as the greatest hero. And I was, my, not my memories were lost, but the memory of me was lost to everyone after that moment. I'm just known as the god of death now in the the realm of the mortals. So that's why you're doing all this. I want you have people go through everything you went through. With no light for people to look at, um, there is no there is no light in the darkness now with uh, the me myself. I'm not trying to like boast or anything, but I was that hero figure to the people, and now they have nothing. So. I'm trying to bring another one up as I try to redeem the person closest to me through the uh, the deal with mother. From what we heard, or did complete their task. Yes, his his wish was to free the girl, as he probably told you, and give her a chance at this. I have one last question. You may uh, continue. Cool. I guess two questions, really. My human form. Do I get to keep it when I return back with the group? Do you wish to not have any of my powers? He looks at you, Hideki. I can... I could uh, free you from that form. You won't be embodied with my powers of a warlock anymore, though, if I do do that for you. But it is your choice. I never uh, wanted to make someone be my warlock. You never really told us what the job description entailed, though. I wanted to see what you would do with that power. Become a hero or become a demon. Not in actual sense but and uh sadly I have not had one rise up to the task in the mortal mortal realm that's why I started doing this here and my hopes are high with you guys I've not uh counted you out yet you actually show promise now and I think working with the group is good for you he uh points at you Hideki I have one last question. Shoot, Mr. Baloney. What happened to my family after they were killed? They probably still linger here. You haven't been dead for too long. Uh, my skeletons, uh, or my servants, they choose spirits of uh, heroic, uh, or that show heroic features to take these trials so if they don't have that then they're probably uh, still in the sea of souls that you sailed on from uh, the, at the very beginning of your journey if you get a wish you could give them a chance like this or you could 
go back to life like Hideki plans on doing. Hmm. What is important to you? I'll have to think on that. And with that, um, Eventide extends out his hand, uh, well, two, both hands to both of you. I'll let you choose the memory that you give me. Please, again, make it a good one. Do we say it now, or should we tell you in the DM uh, later? Do you, do you grab his hand? Yes, uh, I grab if you hand. If yeah. you have the memory you want to give him, you could tell everybody now. Well, since Goat already revealed it on accident, Baloney was going to give up the memory of making homemade juice with his mom. Even Tad accepts that memory. And uh, Hideki? Um, Hideki gives up the memory of seeing a sunset while on the caravan with his parents. Ah, uh, the love of a family. Pain I know too well. Alright. Thank you, guys. And don't think of this too much as a painful experience. I know I'm taking memories from you. But I do enjoy the company. And I hope you guys enjoy my company. He snaps his finger and uh, you, you see a little uh, water skin on your back, baloney. And you guys appear next to the party. Uh, in the cave. Uh, with the monkey on your shoulder, Hideki. Hideki picks up the monkey and puts it on Gavelt's shoulder. You can have his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're you're on mute, Vega, if you didn't know. Gavelt just looks at the monkey. <clears throat> Gavelt snaps his finger. See the monkey just like go back into the palm of his hand. Yeah, you see him clench his fist. Me too, okay. Looking at them both. Hideki ignores him and says, I'm fine. I don't know why. I would. As you guys reconvene, uh, Baldwin is making uh, use of the ogre's campfire over in the left area. You, you guys, if you want to do it now, I guess is the time, but please, in the future, remember uh, to be more careful when trying to steal things. <laughs> It could end up causing us more trouble than we had asked for. I wonder if ogre is edible. <laughs> and he looks at a uh, single. Did you just ask if you want to eat an ogre? Let's see about what I'm actually for that I can, can I try looting the ogre? Yeah, I wanted to take the ogre's head. Uh, if you want to take the head, Bloomy, you're going to have to roll an athletics check for me, and then go, what did you say? I'm, I'm sorry, I did, oh. You're going to have to roll what? Uh, roll an athletics check for me? Sorry, my Discord cut out for some reason. And Slim, athletics? what did you say? Yeah, they cut his head off. Is, it, is there anything to loot off the ogre? Uh, he seems to have a gigantic sword and, uh, a loincloth on him. I got a 16. 16. Um, let me roll for this, because it's that's it's a big guy. Yeah, you cut it. You cut it off. Uh, uh, since the ogre is dead, since the ogre is dead, can Gavelt use false life on its body to heal himself further? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take that head with me. Uh, it's pretty big. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna say you can. My... But... Can I deteeth it then? Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh. Roll a survival mm -hmm. for me. Do you have any oh, large yeah. members besides Jang? Oh, well, Jang's not large. Jang uh, changed her height and weight. 
Uh, Hideki looks over at Baloney and whispers, Didn't the God of Death just say to stop being so greedy? Roll a 12. 12. He really did, yeah, that's yeah. why we died. You get two, like, canine teeth from him. Two? Yeah. Out of the entire mouth? Huh. If you uh, empty the skull out, he didn't have would it many work teeth. As a helmet, because it, it's so big, would it work as a helmet? Um, yeah, but a little like too big for you guys. Like it could, you could completely fit in there. A uh, single. Um. Sounds hilarious. You, Lorcan, you do have that great sword that you found off of that dead body, though. Oh, I got a great sword too. Yeah, yeah, that's what you found when you ran in there. Okay. Uh, can I uh, just like, uh, like remove the brain and shit from it? Can I just uh, like take out the eyes, take out the tongue, take out teeth, all that shit, and uh, fucking set it aside? And with that I... survival check, all I can give you is the two teeth. Well, no, 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 uh, okay. And then, uh, Gavel, uh, what, what do you, what, what health do you get? Okay. Um, you get 11 are, temporary health. Are me and Baloney at full health again? Yeah, you guys are at full health again. Uh, can, can, um, can Hideki cast Major on Baloney? I'm definitely, I'm definitely, my bad. You cast mage armor on Baloney? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, cool. Baloney, that makes your armor class 13 plus your dexterity modifier. Hey, and how long is that effective for? Eight hours. Neat. Yeah, I'll be right back. And, uh, does anybody so else want to do class... anything that hasn't done anything? Uh, it, it, armor be... class is what again now? It'll be 13 plus your dexterity modifier. Can, can I reinvestigate that area? Yeah, you can. Dead? You can, Slim. I'm almost back at full health. You know, I used to fly it. Um, while Slim's rolling, do you guys want to do anything? Uh, Mimi, single? Uh, does a 15 do anything? Um, let me roll. Um, let's see here. Grab my little book, sorry. Dungeon's Master Guide. See what I can give you for that. Um. I'm back at full health, pretty much. The armor he's wearing looks pretty beat up. So it, it would be, uh unwearable but you do get a helmet I do yes baloney checks his inventory baloney's <laughs> gonna check his inventory to make sure that he didn't lose anything <laughs> when he died okay so Mimi dank you find a a severed horse leg a <laughs> single do you want to do anything well, I said I was curious if ogre meat is edible, so can I actually use the survival and try and get... Uh, yeah, meat? yeah, go ahead and roll survival. Does the helmet make it? I will say the horse leg is edible, Mimi, if you want to eat that. Can the boat make a nature check, or a nature check, nature check on the wall and on, like, on the edge of the floor for any sign of brimstone material? I yeah, only got 11. Uh, 11? 11? Um, uh, shoot, you think it's cool. You're just like, yeah, this is cool. Uh, do you, or Mimi, like, you guys don't feel hungry, though, at all. No, I, I was planning on grabbing a bit and then cooking it over the campfire. Okay, okay. Yeah, the... Mimi, you and, you and Single are not hungry.
cop on anything. Hey. Yeah, develop the slide. Of... No, yeah, you just the... see that dead horse. Yeah, he just he'd be looking on the wall, so he could tell that none of these look like this rock structure is any like type of brimstone. Yeah, like, and then the like you see the like yeah. cubes, and you're kind of like scared of them, or not scared, but like curious. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're about the we're about the end. I'm letting people do what they want to do to finish up, so we can just start without doing this next time. Uh, uh, Lorcan. Anybody else have anything they want to try? Oh, yeah, I have a question. So does the helmet, like, does it add AC or, like, what's the description of that helmet? Or... Um, yeah, it'll add one AC uh, to your class. Okay. Can Baloney check the water skin that the God of Death put on his back? Uh, yep. It is uh, <laughs> the same juice Akuja made. He just like looks at it all confused. What is this? Can uh Hideki like like uh it's a temple there in right? or a cave? Or it's a cave, yeah. It's not the temple yet though. Baldwin is trying to get you guys to take a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> he he is looking bad. Can uh well can uh Hideki go to try to see if he can like patch up his wounds a little before the long rest. Uh, you want to try to patch up uh, Baldwin? Yeah. Uh, roll a medicine check for me. Yeah, we're, ba we're about to end, guys. Uh, like, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. And you YouTube cats, sorry about the technical uh, difficulties at the start of the stream i apologize for that that was uh my computer or twitch one one of them being a little dumb or i'm not, I'm not for sure 16 we now? yeah we're about, we're about the end uh God, yeah you, you you get him bandaged up uh from where he got burned he he's like he's still not looking good but uh he he, he he'll heal better with that you you I'm gonna give him an extra dice for uh, you doing that. If uh, if y'all decide on a short rest, but um, that will conclude the session for tonight. Thank you guys for playing with me. Uh, sorry again about like I know I shouldn't be apologizing because that's just how the dice roll. But damn, I did not expect two people to like fall at the very beginning. <laughs> Well, it wasn't our fault. It was everyone else's fault. For being <laughs> yeah, it was those greedy people who just had to go and disturb an area that Baldwin said, "Don't disturb this stuff." He didn't say disturb. Don't disturb. Well, he, he said, well, "Don't disturb well, the nature." He didn't say, yeah, "Don't didn't. get loot." I mean, I don't know who's gonna mention this, but Gazelle so warned them multiple. No one's gonna mention this, but no Gazelle warned them multiple times. Like, shit, he said, bro. "Don't hurt anything like living." Do you think a long sword is a living thing or a corpse? Do you think when you guys saw the like the monster in the left side, there wasn't going to be monsters on the right side? Well, that's be that's the reason we checked first, and there I mean, was nothing yeah, there. I will. I prefer. I prefer that the characters discuss this when they get out the cave and like probably have to really talk because I think really they do this. Well, yeah, you guys, you guys heard even time nope. to like tell you guys like, hey, it'd be better if you guys worked as a team. There as would have been no trouble unless Lorcan hadn't dropped that goddamn <laughs> long sword. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's really stupid that Lorcan's dragging a giant fucking head, but okay, because it's gonna slow you down massively. No, he's uh, not. He's he just grabbed two teeth from it. He was trying to, but yeah, to say. it was we'll too say, big. Thank God, that that still has weight. <laughs> What does this teeth do exactly, though? Uh, you don't know, but, you know, some people could be interested, like, Akuja might like it, uh, Don Box, you don't know what he wants, but, you know, you could ask him. The belt's an alchemist. We figure out what to do with the calcium and the teeth. I'll do some so, research. Yo, I have a question about Baldwin. Has he noticed that his shit's been robbed yet? Yeah, he has. And he hasn't said anything? No. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean... 
Is he going to say anything? Well, I mean, in this position, he really can't. Is he going to pay us, though? He's hurt as fuck. Is he going to pay us, though, or did I take all his money? I mean, you don't know. Uh, Well, he he did say he's going to pay us. He just won't pay you guys. Yeah, he might consider that his payment, though. Yeah. All right, well... I gotta go. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah but, thank you guys for watching. It's uh, been a good game. I did... Good night for me. Alright, now y'all. Y'all be good.